Right, now we're going to look at subtracting fractions with different denominators. Now it's very, very, very similar to adding fractions with different denominators. It's the same process, but the final thing you do is obviously subtract instead of add. So, subtracting fractions, different denominators. Now our denominator, if this is our fraction, the denominator is the bottom part. The one that dominates is sort of what makes it what it is. So, we have the success criteria here. Number one, find the common multiple. And I'll go through what that means. So basically what's in the times tables for both of those bottom numbers of the denominator. Then convert the fractions. So whatever you do to the top. Oh sorry, the bottom, do to the top. And then finally you just subtract the top and keep the bottom the same. So it's fairly straightforward. So I will have a look at a couple of examples and I'll show you what I mean by that. So I've got four fifths to take away one tenth. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find the common denominator between 5 and 10. So what is in the 5 times tables, it's also in the 10 times tables. And that's quite an easy one, because 10, 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10, so 10 is a common multiple. So we turn them both into tenths, and we write it below, and then this is like the second stage. So now we need to convert everything so it's into tenths equivalent fractions out of 10. So with 5, what have I done to 5 to turn it into a 10? I've times it by 2. Let's multiply or divide, it's never just add 5. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, so I have to times the top by 2 as well. So it'll be 4 times 2, which gives me 8. So now 4 fifths is equivalent to the same as 8 tenths. So this here side, it's already tenths, so we actually don't need to do anything. Because if it times that by one, just times the top by one, so it's the same thing. And then obviously it's a subtract. And then finally what we need to do is exactly the same as what we've done with subtracting fractions with same denominators. Is just take away the top two numbers, so 8, take away 1 is 7, and then keep the bottom number the same. So my answer to 4 fifths, take away 1 tenth, would be 7 tenths. Try another one. So this time, three quarters take away a third. So our common denominator, what is in the four times tables, it's also in the three times tables, the smallest one. So in this I'm thinking, go concentrate my bigger numbers. So four doesn't work for three. Eight doesn't work for three, it's not in the three times tables. Twelve is in the four times tables and it's in the three times tables. So twelve is our common denominator. So we're going to write 12 below both. Now we need to convert these fractions into twelfths. So what have I done to get from 4 to 12? I have times by 3. So that means I have to times the top by the same. So 3. So 3 times 3 gives me 9. So 3 quarters is the same as 9 twelfths. It's the equivalent. Now, what do we do to 3 to get to 12? We times it by 4. So we have to times the top by 4, which gives us 4. And now we've got an easy subtraction, which has the same denominators. So all we do is subtract the top two numbers, which is 5, and I keep the bottom number the same. So 3 quarters take away 1 third equals 5 twelfths. Let's do one more. This is one for you to have a go at. So if you want to pause, and I'll go through the answer in three seconds. In three, two, one. So, common denominator between five and four. So we'll concentrate on five. So five times five doesn't work for four. Ten doesn't work for four. Fifteen, still not working for four. Twenty, now we've got a common de uh, denominator. We've got twenty works for five, twenty works for four. So we're going to change them both into twentieths. So, what have I done to get from 5 to 20? I have times by 4, so I times the top by 4, which gives me 16. What have I done to get to 4 to 20? Times by 5, so I times the top by 5, which gives me 5. And then I've got the same denominator, so it's easy. So 16 take my 5, gives me 11. 20, and then the bottom number obviously stays the same, so it's 11 over. 20. Alright, 